Hi everyone, welcome back. Let's see what we're doing next. Fabulous. Now the letters have all got jumbled up. Put the letters in the correct order so that they spell this week's tricky words. Okay, right. Wow. They're quite long, aren't they, this week? Okay, so <clears throat> the first one is parents. Let's have a look at this one then. Sound it out then. Well done. Parents. It kind of sounds like doesn't it? <laughs> at the end, this it's a bit strange. Right, let's have a look at the um, first sound, which is you got it. So I'm put my P there. What's the next sound? That's right, it's air. So we've got to put which letters in this word make the air sound. Well done if you said A, R, E. We had a look at that and we've recapped on that a little bit. Okay. What's the next sound? Well done, it's the N. Mm. And then we've got very, very quiet T, haven't we? T parents. It's kind of missed between the N and at the end, the S. Have a good look at that one then. We've done that one. Right, let's have a go at misses. This one is just tricky. You just have to remember it. So there's a bit of a clue. We've got the capital M. And then, can you remember what's next? Well done if you said it's the R. And then the S goes at the end. Oops, not A. S, Mrs. Okay, let's do Mr. and we'll come back to Christmas. So have a look at Mr. Which one goes first? Well done if you said the M. And then the R goes uh, at the end. Right, Christmas. Sound out Christmas. Well done. Christmas. K -r -its -m -ats. Christmas. Okay, what makes the k sound at the beginning? The C and the H. Whoops. So well done if you said the C and the H. Let's take those from the bottom. Right, k. What's the next sound? Well done if you said r. Put the r at the top. K -r. Next sound is i. And what's the next sound, everyone? Well done if you said it's s. Now this s is a bit tricky. Do you know what it is? <clears throat> well done if you said it's an S and a T. That's the next sound. Chris. Hmm, well done. Okay, what's the next sound? Ah, well done if you said that. And finally, we've got the Well done, everybody. Great, now you have to write the word 10 times each. Try to remember how to spell it each time that you write it. There we go, pause the video now, guys, and have a go at this. Okay, let's move on. I tried to use the word parents in a sentence. Can you check if this is correct? Right. Read, have a go at reading what Rex has bought, uh, Rex has written. <laughs> Whoa, okay, let's have a look. Last week, my parents, parents bought my a paddling pool. Oh, oh, Rex, I think we need to do some changes here. Last week, my parents bought my a paddling pool. Right, let's have a look. Did it sound correct, children? There are a few things that you could change, Rex. I'll help you. Right, wow. So, um, Kathy has changed the L because it needed to be a capital at the beginning. Oh, look, it's got a double E in it. That 
with a double E, that's um, a week, that's seven days. Week, when you spell it with an E and an A, is a homophone, that means it's the same letter, um, it's the same sound, but it's, about, it's spelt differently and has different meanings. Weak with E and an A means that it's not strong. So last week, my parents, can you see he's got the wrong air? And then he missed out the T. But is tricky because it's got O-U-G-H as the or sound. And somebody's, um, Rex wrote Y instead of E, didn't he? And then paddling pool needs two Ds. And he's forgotten his full stop. Sorry, paddling needs two Ds. And he's forgotten his full stop. It's a good job we're here to help, isn't it? Right. Thank you, everyone, for your help. Now it's your turn to have a go, children. Write a sentence with each word in. Okay, so now it's your turn. Have a go. Pause the video. Right, let's move on. You should have written those sentences, so well done. You have done well today, everyone. It's time to have some fun with us all tomorrow. Have a nice day. Bye everyone, well done for working hard.